hey guys welcome back to spring boot tutorial for beginner series so far we have learned spring boot basics and fundamentals and we have created spring boot crude mysql database project and we have built crude restful apis with spring boot and mysql database now it's time to build something real-time spring boot application with you know ui i mean the front end right so now what we'll do we'll create spring boot emuc web application using spring boot spring emuc hibernate mysql and time leap so we are going to use time leap as a view layer we are not going to use gsp okay because time leap is a kind of a popular template engine for building a view layer so i am going to suggest you to you you know you, you first learn time leap okay so if you are new to time leap then you can check out my time leap template tutorial series okay you could just go to playlist and you can find here time leap template tutorial series all right so if you are new to time leap then i would like to suggest you to go through this time leap tutorial series so this is not a lengthy series guys you can see here all right five to six videos so just watch this time leap uh, template uh, basics series and then get back to building spring boot uh, web application okay so basically we are going to build student management system okay and this is how the user interface looks like so basically we are going to build how to add a student how to update delete and list students so this is a very simple student management system that we are going to build uh, going forward all right and here are the tools and technologies that we'll be using in this course we are going to use java 16 which is our latest release of java as of now and make sure that you have installed java 16 on your machine you can use java 8 11 or you know 15 as per uh, java installation on your machine but make sure that you use java 8 plus and we are going to use latest release of spring boot and spring abc and spring data jp spring data jp internally uses hibernate as a jp provider and we are going to use a mysql database to store and retrieve the data and we are going to use time leap template engine to you know develop the view layer and we use eclipse sts id now before implementing this project in this course let's take a look into what we are going to build in this course we are going to implement list students feature and here we list all the students and then add students so let's go ahead and let's add a student here first name ramesh last name patatari and email id ramesh at the rate gmail.com and click on submit and there we go student is successfully added to the list students page let me add one more student here let's say sam and uh, last name is jadav sam at the rate gmail.com and hit submit button and there we go now let's update one of the student let's say ramesh and let me update the first name and email id and also the last name and hit submit button and there we go student successfully updated and we have a delete button here we can delete the student okay so this is a pretty simple student management system application that we are going to build in this course